All right, he was named as one of People Magazine's breakthrough stars of 2001. <laughs> Ah, oh, she's driving me nuts. I haven't had anything sorry, to drink thirsty? or eat. No, but I'm, I'm losing... You want me to give you an ice chip to chew on? I can't. I'm losing energy and I'm losing patience, too. <laughs> I think it will take the day off tomorrow again, but no. it's a major surgery. No, 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 no. Jackie Chan will no, be no, here. No, no, no. That could be a pay-per-view. No. <laughs> anyway, in, in uh, his second season, this young man as Clark Kent in the hit series Smallville has really broken through now. Please welcome to our show for the first time, Tom Welling. <laughs> She looks like Superman, doesn't he? Uh, you are, yeah. really. Oh, yeah. You know, I have to tell you that you have a lot of fans here at the show. Is it where? Uh, oh. I'm, talking, I'm talking more in the production office than anywhere else. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. we're a big Tom yeah, Welling watchers. Yeah, our staff loves you, yeah. They love right. your blue eyes and your little stubble around your chin. And your chiseled face and, and, and your dark hair. And, and your hair. <laughs> Yeah. You're very tall. You're tall. You actually look taller in person. Is that right? Yeah, most people look taller on TV and then in person they're smaller. You're the opposite. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about 6'3". It, it becomes uh, uh, kind of an issue on set sometimes. We, we build some ramps and dig some ditches for people, but it, it all works out. <laughs> so anyway, you were born here in New York State, yes. huh? Upstate? Upstate New York in Putnam Valley. Mm -hmm. Went away to Wisconsin to live, grow, grew up there. Mm -hmm. And when did you start acting? Well, I started acting, uh, I guess, three years ago. I was in New York. I had uh, gotten to New York uh, on, on sort of a modeling gig. Mm -hmm. And I did that for a little while. And the agency that I was with had sort of a brother agency or sister agency, which did commercials. And, um, you know, they sent me on a few auditions. And then I became friends with the agents. And they sent me on an actual uh, Telvin audition. And uh, it just went really well. And I decided to take a shot and move out to L.A. Oh, so when, oh I see. When did you start modeling? Like, when did you figure out you were better looking than everybody else? <laughs> Um, well, I, I started that I, five years ago is when, is when I did that. I wasn't very good at it, though. I got there, and, you know, I had a good time, but it was too, uh, you sit still the whole time. It was, yeah. it was really boring. You're an action guy. Yeah, I like moving around a little bit more. So you, so you became Superman. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you get the role of Superman? Then? I, uh, well, it was funny because the audition went around a few times, and I turned the audition down twice uh, because the only information they were giving out was, this is the new Superman. And that was a little scary and ultimately the director called my manager and said uh it spoke to him for about 45 minutes saying what the show was really about and they said if you come in and you do the audition then we'll let you read the script the next day because they weren't even writing the script out and uh i went in i read and uh they let me read the script and then we decided to go on and yep but you heard you, you got the news at a, at a oh yeah funny location right yeah i uh, i went to the final audition over at warner brothers and uh halfway back home i stopped at a gas station right on the corner of like uh Highland and Franklin out mm -hmm. in L.A. And I called my manager to tell him how the audition went because this was it. You know, this is when, this is the final audition. And I call him and I'm on the phone and he's, hey, how you doing? I said, good. You know, how the audition went? I said, okay, he's, hold on a second. Go, what do you mean, hold on a second? This is about the worst time you can put a guy on hold. Sure. And literally about 30 seconds goes by. He gets back on the phone. He goes, um, I've got, you know, about four or five other people in the line. And I'm like, oh, well, okay. And they're like, you got it. Wow. And I'm like, what do you mean? They, yeah, yeah, it's great. And I turned around and... And I'm in the middle of nowhere at this gas station. The gas station. You know, there's this guy walking his dog, and there I am screaming yeah. for no reason. <laughs> so and, I guess uh, you filled up the car, huh? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I go to that gas station quite often when I'm in L.A. And that's how you got the road. We'll be back. We'll show you a clip from the small boat. From the WB show called Smallville. You know, this is uh, what Superman, Clark Kent, was like when he was younger, before he became uh, Superman. Yeah. And uh, uh, she's been raving about him oh, for the whole two minutes we've been on commercial. My, you're actually I've throwing been yourself, for a, the first throwing year, yourself the at first this season. Guy. Yeah. Yes. Wow. And admiring his feet and everything? Well, he's got, <laughs> he has very large feet. Hey, some guys have large feet and some guys have large zucchinis. What's the problem? <laughs> We're a good team, then. Yeah. yeah. We're a good team. Some guys have both. <laughs> Hate it when she's right.
<laughs> All right, so you got Smallville. Yep. Now it's, it's, this is early Clark Kent, so there are no tights. You've been asking for tights. Uh, well, not one, wearing tights. one show with he tights. He hasn't put on the cape yet. So what, what, what is he like as a, as a boy, as a young man? Well, you know, the, as you said, this is before uh, Clark turns into Superman. It's all about him trying to figure out who he is. Mm -hmm. You know, at the beginning, he doesn't even have all his super abilities, is what we refer to them as. He doesn't know how, why he has them or what to use them for. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of uh, self-discovery. Mm. And then how does he actually make the discovery? Uh, well, these, uh, he has the speed... When he, when he grows up, he has a speed and the strength, and then he gets, um, you know, the heat vision, and he, and he gets x-ray vision, and he gets all these other abilities. So they just kind of happen to him. It's, right. like a, it's like an exaggerated puberty thing. And, and were his feet, <laughs> were his feet always this big? His feet were, <laughs> I think when he got out of the spaceship, that was the first thing he was doing. <laughs> and you know who plays his father? Yes. John Schneider. Yeah. Right, yeah. from the Dukes of Hazzard. From the Dukes of Hazzard. Great guy. A little bit alike around the eyes, right? Yeah, but is that your, is that jor or the No, Superman's he's my ad father? adopted Your adopted yeah. father, yeah. right. Well, we have a look at him right now in this clip from Smallville. Now, your dad is missing, right, in this particular scene. Yes. And you and Lex Luthor, of all people, have uh, combined to hunt the woods for his dad. Take a look. Nixon, you still there? Clark. I was just trying to call the fire department to see if we can get a rescue team out here. Hey, you weren't. I heard you trying to talk to Roger Nixon. My mom said he was snooping around the farm today. He was with my dad when the tornado hit. Clark, I didn't know Nixon was involved in this. Why should I believe you? You already lied about knowing him once. It's the second time that you hesitated today, Lex. I'm starting to wonder if what my dad said about you was true. Clark, wait! You're tired and upset. Don't try to turn this around on me! Are you really here to find my dad or to find Nixon? Do you even have to ask? I don't have time for this. I gotta find my dad. Clark! Smallville begins its second season tomorrow night on the WB at 9 o'clock. Looks like a good show. Great show. Hey, Tom, great meeting you. Thanks so much for coming, buddy. Tom Welling, we'll be right back.